Hey guys, this is Ozzy and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about playing rugby with the British Army. In spirit of the Rugby World Cup that happened this year, I want to share my experience of playing rugby with the British Army as well as share my experience of playing American football with the British Army. All right, so this happened when I was in Afghanistan in 2012. I was with my unit at the time and I was going back to my tent to go rest. And I noticed that these guys were playing rugby. I love rugby. I started playing a while back before I, my next door neighbor at the time introduced me to the sport. I was already intrigued because I watched some rugby and I didn't know what the sport was. But I started playing and became hooked. I love rugby more so than any other sport which is include American football. I saw these guys start playing and there was people from from different units playing with the British Army. They had their own rugby ball and I was asking, can I play rugby? And they said, yeah, you can play with us. Just get your shoes and come on out. And that's what I did. So it wasn't like the rugby you see where you could tackle. I mean, the place that we were playing, it was all it had rocks, dirt. It was hard and flat. So if you tackle, someone's going to get some stitches. I'm going to tell you that much. So we didn't play to tackle. So we did tag. Nothing too hard. Nothing too serious. Because no one wants to get injured. Now at the time, I was one of the fastest guys out there. No one could hardly touch me because I was very shifty. There's a reason why my teams call me crazy legs because I could move all over the place. I was shifty. I was like the flash at the time. Not to brag or anything, but it was very fun to be able to be able to juke people out and be able to score tries. Now, for people who don't know how to play rugby or don't understand the scoring system, unlike American football, the point is to score a try, which is worth five points. You just touch the ball in the try zone, same thing with end zone, and you just place it and you get five points. The conversion, which is the field goal, which is one in American football, but it's worth two points in rugby. We didn't do anything like that because we didn't have any goal posts, but we just ran. It was it was fun. It was very engaging. I loved it. I loved coming out every night because it was something to do. It was very it, it was a group of guys that just loved playing the sport and it was fun. Now one day my unit decided to challenge the British Army. which we would play rugby with them and they would play our sport as an American, the American football. So we played the British Army and I had to train guys who have never even heard of the sport. Now fortunately I had two people who were out there with me. They weren't in my unit at the time, but they knew how to play rugby because we were teammates. So we started teaching, we started training people how to play rugby, teaching the rules, how you can't forward pass, you gotta throw the ball laterally or or behind you. And it was a it was very hard at first training these people because they kept wanting to throw the ball for like it was American football. I was like, no, you can't do that. So we trained them, we trained them. The day came to where we played them. And I remember being a starter, you know, crazy like, you know, of course I got to start. So I, so the British Army, they, they did, they thought, you know, these are Americans, they don't play rugby. Uh, they was kind of a little bit arrogant, 
until I got the ball and I juked them and scored twice the first two points of the game and they were floored that someone knows how to play rugby from the American side and that's when they got took us seriously. In the end though, we lost. It was a very close game though. And, and it, but it was fun. We had a good time. We <laughs> had man of the match. So it was really awesome to see a group of people get a potential opportunity to maybe come in and enjoy the game. Now on the flip side, the British Army had to play my country's main sport, which is American football. It was funny watching the <laughs> play. It was two hand tag. And what you do is if you have a line, you, you got to count down before you can rush and give the quarterback a chance to throw. I play line because no one wants to play line simply because it's, it's a dirty man's game. Everyone wants to be either the quarterback or the receiver. No one wants to play the line. So I decided to play the line, both offense and defense. The interesting part, I remember I remember this one play that the British Army did. So the quarterback throws the ball, he finds a receiver, we and he plays it like it was rough. He throws the ball back. Which when you think about it is is legal. It's it's legal in American football. You could throw the ball back to a person and it's it's legal. You could do that if if, you're, if the receiver is not down by contact, if he can still move, he could throw the ball back. It is totally legal. But we, but because we made the rules so you could do that, you know, we got he had to come back and hey, let's call it what it is. It's a penalty, even though it's not a penalty. If that make any sense. But anyway, so we stopped play there. But it was interesting how they tried how they tried to interject some rugby to play American football. We, my, my unit won, just like their unit won for for rugby. But it was fun to see though. It was fun to get them to experience our sports. I don't know how they felt about playing American football though, that you have to throw the ball forward. But at the end of the day, we all had a good time. It was fun. It, it, it was bonding between two different nations. I, so I really like doing stuff like that. So that was very fun.